Okay, we're back. We are into the part three of updating, appraising, and engaging our contacts. So in part three, we're actually going to engage our contacts. There are four main areas that we can focus on. Neighborhood news, just sold and just listed e-cards. Both of these are subscriptions. Holiday e-card campaign and our trending at home newsletter. All of these require that your contact have an email address. Let's jump into it. We're in Engage. Of course, we went into H Suite. We clicked on Contact Management, and this is our welcome page. We're going to go right over here to People, My People. And we have George St. Bernard. We'll use George throughout this whole process. We click on George's name, and that opens his contact. You'll notice that George is a seller prospect. And if we click on his profile, we see that we have a phone number, an email address, and a physical address. Also down here, we have put George in a group, our pet people. The next step would be to add subscriptions. When we click on add subscriptions, we have two choices here. We're actually going to do both, but one at a time. The first one is neighborhood news. This is a monthly subscription that shows activity within a zip code or a physical area that you have determined. We click on the blue button and these choices. If you feel that the zip code represents the real estate market area for your client, then you can just click on go and set it up based on the zip code. If not, click over here on the custom. Click on the go. And the map based on the zip code will tune into what's happening. Well, let's say that our client lives up in this little area up here. So we can click on the draw button and we can do a quick draw. And we just draw on the map right around this little area. Then we can click next. And next. Change the message if you wish. I see no need. It sets it up. And then send to Saint George, George St. Bernard. You're all set. Next, we can go back to subscriptions on the left hand side. You'll note down here we have neighborhood news and we can click add. And next would be the just listed and just sold subscriptions. We click on the green button and we click on done and we're done. It's that simple. Please note that you must use the sales flow for the just listed, just sold e-cards to be effective. All right, let's move on to campaigns now. Campaigns is a button right up here. When we click on campaigns, this is your welcome screen. Yours will look different than mine. First stop is up here at the library. When we click the blue button, it shows you a list of all of the campaigns that are available. Seasonal home maintenance, that's a quarterly, it's kind of like a newsletter, but it comes out in like an email format. 
Then we have holiday cards, a wide variety of them. Each time I suggest that you go to preview, look through the cards and pick a series that works for you. Trending at home is the newsletter. We're going to start with that actually. Click on preview. On the right hand side, it's the dates that the newsletter is sent to your contacts. Up here, here's an example, but we're going to go backwards. We click to the left, here's March, and this will be the next issue that will be sent out. And if we scroll down here, on February 1st, each newsletter features three articles and it's branded right back to you. To set this up, we're going to go over here to the far right hand corner. We add it to our campaigns. And we'll go through the setup process when we do the holiday greetings. The same process applies to both. So let's go back to our library. And now let's look at holiday greetings. We can check this preview for the Hannah Holiday Campaign No Kids version. And let's again go backwards to get the most recent. Twenty twenty three. It may take it a moment to come up. That's the first one in twenty twenty three. There's New Year's. Kwanzaa. Merry Christmas and so forth. So if you like this, and I really suggest you look through all the different campaigns. For the purpose for today, let's look at the pet version. holidays, and so forth. So we're going to add this to our campaign. The next step is to click on the name of the campaign you just added to your library. And we have two choices here. We're going to be adding our recipients and possibly adjusting our schedule. So let's click on the edit schedule button. This warning will show up. This tells you it won't automatically renew at the end of the year. Just click on confirm. And as we scroll down here, Valentine's Day, that's good. St. Patrick's Day, spring, now, Memorial Day is a Monday holiday, and at the moment, this is scheduled to be delivered on Memorial Day. I like the idea of bumping Monday holiday cards back to the Friday before. So that would be Memorial Day and Labor Day. If we're all set, we're going to come down here. We're going to click Save. And once it's done saving, then we're going to set up our recipients. Click on Setup. We're going to click on Add Recipients. 
And since this is the pet version, I have created a pet people group. You can make a wide variety of groups to enhance your marketing ability. Pet people. I have four pet people in there. I check the box. I click add. We're going to come down here in case we want to remove anybody. We don't. We hit save. Recipients were successfully added. And now this button up here on the right, the run campaign button is blue. You're ready to go. Just click run campaign. Now, if you're doing larger groups, I only had four people in mind, but if you have more, it's actually going to take a little bit of time to load. Just give it some time. Be patient with it. And do not hesitate to contact your education department or your manager for assistance. So that's it. We've updated our contacts. We've appraised our contacts. And now through the subscriptions, our newsletter, and our holiday cards, we've engaged our contacts. Thanks.